Hello everyone and thanks again for joining me in another one of my little videos. I thought I'd just do a recent pickups video. Um, these are the games I've picked up from charity shops, uh, buying and selling, trading, things like that. Uh, one of them's a gift as well. Um, so I'll just get straight into it. There, there is there is um, an item what isn't a game as well, but I thought I might as well show you that because I picked it up in a charity shop for next to nothing. So we'll start with this. This is the uh, Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt demo. This is the uh, the demo cartridge that you got with the original uh, DS. You know the the ugly fat thing which looked disgusting but was amazing to play on at the time. Um, it was pretty cool that like, it came in a, in a proper case as well, a real case instead of just being bundled in the box like like most things. So that's that thing there. We'll slide that there. Next we've got. I'll go into the PS1 games. We've got this, a Konami game called Ronin Blade. Never heard of it before, never played it. It doesn't look all that impressive, to be honest, but found it in a charity shop for a pound, so why not? Next, uh, probably the one of the better items of the pickups. Digimon World 2003. Now, this is an absolute gem of a game on the PlayStation 1. It's a Digimon RPG, very akin to the Pokemon games, but in my opinion, a hell of a lot better than the Pokemon games. It's the same kind of thing. Uh, battle random monsters gain experience evolve instead of digivolving uh, your digimon can actually purely evolve into the next stages and you can keep them like that or you can downgrade them uh, to at your whim at your leisure pretty much which we're using whichever digimon you fancy you start the game with a team of three there's three options so there's like um, a balanced team an offensive team for strength and things and then there's a wild card team which is really difficult to raise but you get Gilmon in that one, and I've never really used Gilmon before, so I've started this. I've started a new save, and I've gone for that one. Let's see how that pans out. So that's that. We'll move on to the PlayStation Two games. We have got Canis Canem Edit, the Rockstar Bully game. Right there. Next we have GTA San Andreas, another Rockstar game. I was never a never a big fan of San Andreas, if I'm honest. I mean, GTA Five, I love setting the same world, same area, I guess, but I just I just never gelled with uh, San Andreas when it came out. Next, we've got Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers, a really good fighter game. It's awesome. You gain experience from beating up bad guys, and then you can upgrade your your attacks. You can use uh, Legolas, Aragorn, or Gimli. I think you can use a few other people as well. That's that one. Next, we got the sequel to that, the Return of the King game. It's not as good as Two Towers. But it is really fun. There's some really nice set pieces, some nice boss battles in that. Uh, the final PS2 game is This Beast, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Probably the very best um, side scrolling Dragon Ball Z fighter game before it all went 3D in the Tenkaichi games and the, the more recent ones, like Battle of Z and Xenoverse. So there's that. Uh, what should we do next? We've got one. PS3 game, if I can just grab that. There we go, Medal of Honor Warfighter. I think this is the second of the Medal of Honor rebooted games. The first game I finished recently, it was okay. I mean, it's you know, it's not as good as the Call of Duty campaigns. It had a hell of a lot of bugs, a lot of screen tear. Warfighter improves on it in every single way, graphically, gameplay wise, mechanics. It plays a hell of a lot better, and I am enjoying this game. Next, we have got. I'll go on to my Dreamcast pickups. I got Wild Metal, another Rockstar game. So the third Rockstar game I've got um, in this pickups video. I've never, I've never even heard of this to be honest when I picked it up. But I got, it, I think I got it for like six pounds. So, and I'm collecting Dreamcast games anyway. So I thought, why not? I might as well knock it off the list. Next, we have got a few Engage games. So we will start with this one. MLB Slam, it's um, an American baseball game, it looks absolutely terrible, I mean if my camera was on you can see that. Um, I'll give it a little play test but I'm not getting my hopes up on this, it, I've never really been a fan of baseball, it looks pretty bad to be honest. Next we have got WWE Aftershock, same again, I've not really been into wrestling since I was about 12 years old but I'm trying to collect as many Engage games as possible. I know it's almost an impossibility to get a full collection of I think it's 53 games because some of them the Australian released Sega Rally and the Atari collection games are just ridiculous to find. Finally, this is the third and final Engage game. It's sealed. It is The Sims Busting Out. Now, I had to buy the French one because I could not find an English PAL one, but for £7 sealed, 
you can actually play it in English, but as I say, I'm going to be keeping that sealed. So that can go there. And the final item I've got in these pickups, it's not a game, but I found this beast in a charity shop for £3. The Star Wars The Essentials Guide to the Planets and moon Moons. It came out in the mid-90s, and it is really, really nice. It's all black and white inside, but it's got some great great 90s artwork. It's got I think it's got over 100 planets and moons in it with um, some nice descriptions of inhabitants, um, atmospheric pressure, all kinds of nerd things if you're a Star Wars fanboy like I am. And it goes with the other book from this kind of series. It's the Star Wars Essential Guide to Droids. So I thought I'd buy that, and it's in absolutely great condition as well for three pounds. Uh, my local charity shop's going to be doing a Star Wars event when the new film comes out near Christmas. So everything they get in in that um, specific charity shop that is Star Wars related, they're kind of hiding it and keeping it away until Christmas. So I'll be going down there with about fifty pounds and just buying all sorts of Star Wars shit. So. There's my pickups for now. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you again in another video.